Hi again. Um, this tutorial will be the continuation from previous one where I just started the volatility. This tutorial I will take you through some basic commands uh, what you can use in volatility to find uh, some information what um, uh, could be the beginning of your investigation. I will take you through only uh, five uh, plugins here what will be PS list, process list, PS tree, so process, we want to see it in tree format. PS scan, uh, where we want to know about all the processes, even which was terminated, still that was part of that memory. We want to do a quick uh, PSX view. Uh, um, I will explain you once we go there. And then I will also go through with the DLL list. Uh, this will be five uh, simple commands we will use for volatility. And um, these are the commands what you will be using at the beginning. And in many cases, you will be using it uh, for advanced purpose as well. So let's start. My very first command I will be using. Uh, I hope you remember uh, the volatility command. Volatility, uh, this was our executable names, minus F or uh, hyphen F, um, which identifies that we are investigating a file. Mem.raw, that was the memory file name, what I had in same uh, folder, this root folder. Um, hyphen hyphen profile uh, equals to uh, whatever the profile name we found by using that image info command and um, then at last we will be using this command ps list uh, ps list so when we do that what i will be expecting um, i will expect to see a long list of all the processes whatever was running in that um, memory uh, you can consider it with our task manager where you go to uh, the process tab and you see all the processes it, it it will give you the process name process id it will um, give you information about what time this process has started uh, information like that uh, now, it is not very convenient to see the processes like this way because um, uh, in our previous tutorial we have learned uh, it is very important to see whether individual process does have the right parent um, or the right child. So it would be uh, very helpful if you could see the process list in a tree format. Uh, which will be quite easy um, to do in volatility. So what you do now, instead of process list, you just type it as process tree. So I did use up arrow to get my last command. And um, this is the last command, uh, same file. Uh, this time I'm just using process tree. Well, before I forget, when you give the profile name, please make sure you type it um, as uh, it is case sensitive. So win XP with capital W is different from win XP with small w. This could be a problem uh, if you just type it in small letter. In my system, it was exactly like that and I have typed it like that. Anyways, so let's see what comes with PS3. Now, see this uh, ps3 is uh, giving us a bit more details this is system process within system process we have smsss then we have cs rss these are the child processes we had quite a nice view what um, you can use uh, for investigating the parent child relationship again we are having um, the uh, id parent id and what time this processes has started so ps3 is similar to ps list but it is just a um, bit more details um, uh, as far as parent child relationships are concerned you may like to use uh, another command called ps scan ps scan is similar to ps um, uh, ps list but it will just um, give you the details about all the terminated process so uh, imagine um, some of the processes were running in this memory but 
um, then process has been terminated uh, yet the process information still is in that memory while um, you took the memory dump it could be a common scenario maybe a malware was running uh, in a memory but when you went there that malware is not running anymore however by doing a memory dump probably you um, got some information about uh, some of those processes which was running for further investigation so ps scan uh, will give you a bit more details about uh, terminated process as well um, any of these outputs really what you could do is um, if you wanted to take a um, uh, take uh, the, take the output in a text file so that later on you can use any sort of comparison uh, tool uh, perhaps just a, a, a spreadsheet to compare the result you could do that so uh, I will show you how you can take the file uh, output from this result uh, this was my command I wanted to do a PS scan all I will have to do is this and I need to give a file name ps uh, sorry um, scan result dot txt doesn't matter what file name you give I just gave this file name what I'm saying that run volatility on this file uh, profile information is this do a ps scan and whatever the result is just send that result into a text file now this text file will go on same um, parent folder or root folder if i open my root folder just to show you uh, we were running volatility from here and uh, see this is scan result if you open this text file name PID process ID other information now you can easily use this file uh, to do some more investigation and you can uh, use this file to input data into a spreadsheet um, and then you can compare contrast data into a spreadsheet quite easily so this was the third command so far we have gone through with PS list PS tree and PS scan now next one let me take you through x view v i e w so next command um, i want to uh, show you is ps x uh, view it's a very uh, powerful command could be very useful what it will do is kind of will run number of other um, commands together why because many times malware creators will try to hide a process from um, typical process list so when you go to your uh, process list maybe you will not see a process but still that process uh, will run within the memory when you do a ps scan that process will be identified will be recognized however if a process is not in ps list which means uh, on your plain eyes you cannot see that process and if you see that process with extensive scan which is ps scan that will um, uh, that will raise the question of doing some more investigation on particular process so in summary whenever you see a process which is not in ps list but in ps scan list please do a bit more investigation many cases it all will be true many cases some of those will be false for example if i come to the very last one cmd.exe that was a process and uh, it's saying ps list this process is false so this is a process what we cannot see in ps list however we can see that process in ps scan uh, the, the, this is not the normal thing what we are talking about now if you look into the very last column here which is exit time it's suggesting this process was running however this process has been terminated at certain point and that explains why this process is not in ps list still the process was within the memory it hasn't been overwritten therefore you can see the ps scan um, result as true 
So these are the basic things you can check by using PSX view. Now, very last command I want to use here is DLL list. Um, you have seen many, many processes, but um, you don't know where those processes are running from. By running this DLL list command, you can check all of those processes, where it is running from, exact file path, process ID. It will be a long list. So if you don't want to check it from here, always just make an output file. For example, excuse me, for example, I could say DLL list, DLL list uh, .txt. If I just say that, all the results will go onto this dll list.txt file so while i'm waiting for that i will just quickly take you through uh, some of these i'm looking for an interesting one if i could find any uh, well it's saying that cmd.exe uh, process id was that from where it is running so it is running from system 32 where it's supposed to run it has service spec 3 and lots of other information related to this particular process uh, ideally you want to go through with all of these processes you want to find out from where that particular process is, is running does it supposed to run from that place like uh, most of the processes will run from system 32 but see this process is running from somewhere else why we need to check uh, probably that's a leg legitimate process probably not so my last command was uh, to have a output file for all of these dll things let me check if i have that output file before i finish this one volatility volatility and i ask for dll list this is the whole dll list what we had as output now you can use this file to search all the exe files locations of exe files or whatever the other things you want to do um, so i hope uh, you okay with these basic commands i will be uploading these basic commands on youtube as well um, so that you can use and again uh, this is just the beginning of memory forensics if you want to learn memory forensics um, I will say your best friend is volatility and I will say this is the um, resource what you are looking for uh, using uh, to understand and to use um, memory forensics and to be a good uh, memory forensic investigator. Thank you.